We are on notice. Antarctica's disappearing sea ice is set to directly impact life here in New Zealand. Kiwi scientists there are working to find out what happened the last time the Earth was this hot, around 125,000 years ago. Sea ice in Antarctica is melting at an alarming rate. Already this year, an area 20 times the size of Aotearoa has been lost. And that's prompted a blunt warning from New Zealand's chief scientist in Antarctica that the impact of climate change down there will have a direct effect on weather and sea levels here in New Zealand. Patrick Gower is in Antarctica and he filed this report. Antarctica, incredibly vast, beautiful and just so complex. But Jordi Hendricks, Antarctica New Zealand's chief scientist, has a simple message about it. Climate change is really existential crisis for humanity right now. And the impacts that we're seeing here in Antarctica have a direct impact on New Zealand and all Kiwis should care about that. The Kiwi scientists on the ice are all about analysing that change. We're trying to understand how the ice sheets, how the ice shelves, the sea ice and the biodiversity is changing in response to climate change. The change here is real. Much of the scientific work is focused on the sea ice, which freezes over every winter. So sea ice is changing really dramatically. And this year alone, we've seen that we're losing roughly 20 times the area of New Zealand in sea ice relative to what we would normally have at this time of year. So out here is all sea ice and it forms a protective barrier around the rest of Antarctica. And while it may seem looking here that there's quite a lot, it is actually disappearing at a really alarming rate, which could be a real crisis for the rest of the world. The sea ice is a really key part of the climate system in terms of how it buffers the energy that comes in from the sun and the amount of energy that goes into the ocean. So changes in sea ice are changing our climate and are changing our weather patterns. The sea ice also has a key role in protecting the bigger ice shelves and behind them the two massive ice sheets that make up Antarctica, the east and the west. Another big focus for the scientists here. The West Antarctic Ice Sheet, if it completely melted tomorrow, would represent about four metres of sea level rise. So a New Zealand-led team of scientists, engineers and drillers has just left on a mission to drill into the West Sheet, a 1,138 kilometre traverse across the continent. And what that project's trying to do is understand how the warming world influences the West Antarctic Ice Sheet and how stable or unstable that is, i.e. how quickly will it melt and disintegrate and then contribute towards sea level rise. They will drill down through 600 metres of ice to extract a sample of the sediment below. The aim is to find out what happened to the ice sheet the last time the world was this warm, 125,000 years ago. That geological record will give us a picture of what's happened in the past when the world was warmer and therefore be a really key proxy for what's going to happen as we continue to warm the world with global climate change. Complex work with that simple message. We should be immensely worried about what's happening down here in Antarctica because what happens here influences us in New Zealand. Science in the remotest place on Earth, that hits home. Patrick Gower, Antarctica, News Hub.